This video is a general overview of the printer jockey interface and the different features that come available. You will notice that the printer jockey interface is a very easy to use interface that gives you a list of all of your different print queues, the jobs that are inside those print queues, the printer type that is associated with the print queue, and what port that print queue is assigned to. You can, in some cases, you will like to adjust the column heading so you can see everything. And doing that by just left clicking on the column at the top and dragging it over. This will make it so you won't have to scroll left and right. I would like to also state that in some cases when you go over to the top menus and click on stuff, some things may or may not be available. If you're running the software in a restricted mode, then certain premium features such as the channel flush and import export functions are not available. In order to have these features, you will need to validate your software by going to printerjockey.com. First, to begin with, once you have your software validated, if you would like access to these features, you will need to select a print queue. In this case, we're going to choose the Epson Stylus Pro 4880. Notice that next to it, it has a message stating that there is an error there and that it's set to work offline with one job in the print queue already. It's assigned to the Epson Stylus Pro 4880 printer and it's associated with the COM2 port. If we go up to the top and we click on the file menu option, you'll notice that you're able to open up the print queue, get queue information, and delete queue. You can also exit, exit the printer jockey software. Underneath the printer options, you have the ability to select a channel flush, which is a maintenance program that we have created that will allow you to just flush individual channels of ink if that channel shows up on your nozzle check as being blocked. In addition, there is a print alignment grid, which is used primarily with direct-to-garment machines that have two different print heads, and they're trying to line both of them up. You can also pause and resume your print queues and set them to online, offline, underneath the printer option menu. Underneath the driver options menu, you will be able to display the driver information and also have access to the system print drivers. The system print drivers is a function that will be explained in more detail in another video, but will help you dramatically when you try to delete a driver from your print queues, but your computer says it is currently being used by another program. Additionally, the About menu will let you know what version of Printer Jackie you're running and also has the web address where you can have access to the online support form. To begin with, let's go ahead and open up a print queue. There are two ways to open a print queue. The first way, again, is by going to the file and opening open queue information. This will open up the print queue where it states what the document name is that's currently in there. A second way to open up the print queue is also straight from the interface you can double click on the print queue name and it will open it up as well. Notice at the top of this window we have the same printer option features available and we did from the main interface screen. In addition, we also have another menu option referred to as job options. And just like on the main interface, you must select a job before you can have access to all of this information. In doing so, we will go on down here. We will select the job that's sitting in the print queue, go up to job options, and now you'll notice that we do have access to everything. In job options, you have the ability to display the job information. Additionally, you can delete the job, pause, resume it, and start it. One of the other premium features in Printer Jockey is to allow you to export a job and import a job. This is very much different than saving your file from a graphic software program like Corel or Photoshop. This information that will be exported and imported will contain all of the information that is sent to your printer. Thus, if you ever have to repeat a job and you've saved the actual print file information, 
all you'd have to do is bring it back up using the import function, put it into the queue, and it will print exactly the same way as the first time, as long as your printer is form performing at 100%. There are other features as well that will be upcoming in Printer Jockey, like the standard running a nozzle check and head cleans. Printer Jockey works both on Microsoft XP and Vista platforms. For a list of all of the printers and the, the different premium features that are available, please visit www.printerjockey.com. Thank you.